I realized that the last time we did a video like this was about five months ago. So I think it's important to go back to all these polls I'm posting and see your answers. And I'm going to comment on the most uh, key questions. Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, we're talking about credit cards, points, finances, and travel. If this is something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. So five months ago, I did the first video when I'm commenting on your answers, on questions I'm posting all the time, polls, and see how you guys vote. These help me to understand who you are, uh, what your stance is on certain things regarding credit cards and finances, and see also what you like and what you don't. So this helped me to understand you better and make uh, videos that are probably better for you, my viewers. So the first question here we're gonna see is four months ago, I asked you if you had only one luxury credit card, which one would you get? And 46% of you said the Platinum, the American Express Platinum, 21% the Sapphire Reserve, 29% the Capital One Venture X, and other 3%. Well, I think you're right on the money. We did the numbers. We know that the Platinum gets the win every time. The Sapphire Reserve is an excellent credit card, but it lacks a little bit. On the Capital One Venture X, uh, yeah, I mean, that card pays for itself. And on top of that, it has great multipliers, especially if you look at it as a standalone credit card. It's excellent. What's your favorite airline company? And 45% of you said Delta, 30% of you said Southwest. The other ones were way lower. So yeah, Delta and Southwest win. As you know, I'm a Southwest fan. I have the Southwest priority card for the past three years almost at this point. Uh, Delta, I know many of you love it. You use your American Express credit cards to uh, get a bunch of perks uh, with Delta. I find them to be a little pricey, honestly, especially for domestic flights in uh, Latin America. But if you're traveling in Europe or Asia, it's one really of the best airliners you can get. They have huge coverage uh, and they're known for their quality. How do you feel about the crypto crash? 59% of you don't care, don't have a horse in the race and you are lucky because i had a horse in the race and it didn't go so well congratulations you did better than me how many credit cards uh, do you have i see here i also had a typo <laughs> oh, oh many credit cards do you have <laughs> okay uh five to ten 35 percent of you one to five i mean that's expected over 15 crazy people like me only 17 percent do you have a passport yes and ready to travel 78 percent of you congratulations i'm really happy i have worldly uh, viewers what's your credit score over 740 for 62 percent of you that is incredible, guys. And 30% uh, of you are between uh, 681 and 470. That's incredible. It's to be expected, though. I mean, you're that kind of people. That's why you watch channel on this. That was very controversial. Can a 0% credit card act as an emergency fund? And 61% of you said yes, no, 39%. <sighs> That's a tough one, really. Um, I would say no but it's the next best thing. If I had to go out and get a loan or I had to save myself in any other way and I didn't have a real emergency fund, then I think this is a very uh, reliable solution. I've done it. I've done it to be honest and it helped me a lot. I was able to get out of debt because of credit cards like this. So it's a yes with an asterisk maybe. In your opinion, which credit cards are better with or without annual fees? 70% of you said with annual fees. And let me tell you, the numbers are there. Uh, most credit cards with annual fee offer more. The more money you pay, the better returns you're getting. But this is not always a clear cut because even within the same ecosystem like Chase, we did the numbers before and we saw that the Chase Sapphire Reserve will give you something like 3.6, 3.7, and then the Freedom Flex will give you something like 3.5, and it's no annual fee credit card. So, uh, 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 but if you want to generalize uh, things, I would say yes, with annual fees is always better. Declaring bankruptcy. Oh, this is controversial. 
Sometimes necessary, 79% of you, a fraud, 21%. Where am I standing on this one? Um, sometimes necessary. If really you cannot pay and you did everything you could and yet you can't, then yes, declare bankruptcy. But if you do it because that's your financial plan and you're trying to scam people, that's a whole different story. What level of education have you completed? And most of you have a bachelor degree at 44%. The second highest is up to high school. Master's 21%, PhD 7%. I even have doctors here. That, that's, that's really flattering. Uh, but yeah, most of you have a bachelor degree. And the second biggest category is up to high school. I mean, guys, to be honest, I am just finishing my MBA now. So I'm getting a master's degree by Christmas. And is it overrated? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I know I'm making more than I would otherwise, but I spend a lot of time also in school and a lot of money. So, yeah, it's it's a. Uh, it's tough. Now, the points redemption is another one. And most of you get one to two cents per point, 45%. Many of you, 33%, three to four cents per point. And then over six, 13% of you, I don't buy that. Who gets over 6% at 13%? There's no way. Stop lying. Do you think that credit card issuers are doing enough to keep up with inflation? No, 78%. I say 100% no. And what's more annoying to me is that lately you see smaller and smaller sign-up bonuses. When banks were getting money for free from the government, they would increase their sign-up bonuses, uh, 20,000 points, 30,000 points. Uh, and it really cost them nothing to do that. And now that the interest rates are high and it's expensive for them to borrow from the government, uh, they have the lowest sign-up bonuses. And it's now when everybody's needing it. So no, the banks are institutions that don't give a crap about you or me. Keep that in mind. Best type of bank is credit union, 61%. And I agree, that's where I got my car loan. And I think whenever I'm ready to buy a house, that's when I'm gonna go again. What's your biggest fear? And 50% of you, a possible world war, inflation, 27%, 7% domestic violence. So. Yes, World War, definitely plausible. Select one of the two, Hilton Aspire, Marriott Brilliant. This is after the new Brilliant came out and 82% of you say the Hilton Aspire. I am 100% on that boat. Assuming you won the Amex Platinum, would $1,000 annual fee be a deal breaker with extra credits? 77% of you said yes. So here's your solution, American Express. If you want to empty those full packed Centurion lounges, increase the annual fee, and you will only keep 23% uh, of your clientele. Are you prepared for a prolonged financial crisis? And it's 50-50, yes and no. So I hate to say I am somewhere in between I have zero debt, but at the same time, I don't have enough reserves to keep me for a long time. So I need to be careful, but I'm not really worried. Uh, but yeah, I'm somewhere in, in there. But yes, definitely, I would try to save and play safe right now. Last time I missed a payment of any kind was never 51%. Many years ago, 43%. And I am in that 43%. I did miss a couple of payments uh, about five, six years ago. And that really screwed me. So yeah, not a good idea. The best way to utilize a credit card is through trifectas or whatever card makes sense. 65% of you say whatever credit card makes sense. Trifectas 35%. And again, it depends. If you're going for cashback, then whatever card makes sense 100% of the time. But if you're planning to travel, trifecta are always better. Trifectas because you have the option to transfer to travel partners and all of a sudden, whatever percentages you're getting on average, you're getting even more. So yeah, it depends on the use case scenario. For my use case scenario, which is travel, I use all my points for travel. I will go with a trifecta.
The last I did was how often do you eat out? Uh, once or twice a week, 70%, and every day, 21%. Who eats out 21%? How do you make it? Please let me know in the comments down below. I want to do your job. I want to have as much money as you have. 21% every day they eat out. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, once or twice. And if I go back two months ago, I was once or twice a month. So yeah, that's it. This is uh, what you think. This is my take on it. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, ciao.